Hey guys, welcome back to the Conservative Patriot. My name's Keith. Thanks for joining me today. Hey, I wanted to uh, talk about this recent call for Trump's impeachment after this um, whistleblower came out and and basically said that uh, Trump is is um, forcing the Ukraine to bend to his will by withholding military aid money. I think this is complete bullshit. So if you look back in history, four, no, let's say five, six years ago, um, Russia forcibly took the area of Crimea, which was part of the Ukraine, from the Ukraine, and is you know made it part of of Russia. Said you know we're taking Crimea from you um, by military force. Um, I believe, I'm sure all you guys remember that. But what happened after is that the United States um, became a partner with the Ukraine, uh, um, giving them military aid to help thwart any future aggression by um, any Russian forces or any kind of separatist parties in the Ukraine. So what I find ironic about this and completely hypocritical yet again by the Democrats is that when Joe Biden went over there in 2014 he told the then president of the Ukraine to fire a prosecutor and I'm not sure if this prosecutor was similar to our attorney general or what what kind of position this guy held but he basically said if you don't fire this prosecutor we are withholding a billion dollars in aid from you and now the Democrats are saying oh Trump is withholding 400 million dollars in military aid or was withholding 400 million dollars in military aid until the Ukraine looked into Joe Biden's son's <coughs> Hunter <coughs> excuse me Joe Biden's son Hunter's um, I don't know how to um, approval to the board of this um, Ukrainian natural gas company, which is kind of, you know, it, it, it happened around the same time that Biden went over there and said, hey, you need to remove this prosecutor. It was kind of like a quid pro quo thing to me. Um, and that's what they're saying that Trump is doing right now. They're saying that he's doing um, the exact same thing that Joe Biden did. But when Joe Biden did it, it wasn't illegal. It wasn't looked upon as negative. It was the United States being strong against um, corruption, etc. But now no one really knows if Trump um, is, you know, said if you don't look into Joe Biden and um, the relationship with this Ukrainian gas company and his son, then I'm going to withhold $400 million. President Trump has denied that happened and um, this whistleblower has said, no, that's not true. This is, uh, he, he did do that. Trump is saying that he is making sure that their, the Ukrainian government is not corrupt and the money is not just going, is going other places and where it's, it's designed to go, which is military aid. I don't understand why these Democrats, you know, I do understand, you know what? These Democrats don't have a plan. They don't have any policies. They have no good solutions to anything. Um, all they do is slur and slander everything. So what do they do? They um, they try to impeach Trump on Russia collusion. Well, that was proof false. And then the impeachment talk kind of went kind of went down. Um, and then they try to um, slander him again. He's being he's a racist. He's all this stuff. And um, if you hear my uh, my phone beeping, it's because I'm getting text messages. I apologize. I don't know. Anyways, uh, I thought I had it on vibrate. So the hypocrisy of these Democrats and the and the and the and the amount of let's throw all this shit against the wall and hope that something sticks hasn't happened because it's not true. And I think the American people, Democrat or Republican, see the bullshit that they're trying to do. Yes, there are some dense people out there who will believe anything that either party says without, you know, utilizing even a half a percentage of their brain. Um, I, 
I hope you guys see through this. I hope you understand that they're trying to push this impeachment through um, with false accusations. They, they don't even know. There's, they don't have a they don't have a transcript to look at and say, oh, this happened. They're going on um, the words of a whistleblower or even somebody after that saying this happened in July. So someone says something, you know, it's like it's like yelling fire in a in a movie theater when there there is no fire and everybody just starts freaking out. That's exactly what the Democrats are doing right now. They're like, oh, let's grab a hold of this. Uh, news story and let's run with this without even verifying doing nothing they th- there's a there was supposed to be a um, an oversight committee hearing uh, or a meeting on Thursday um, Nancy Pelosi and the I don't know what caucus it is um, are having a meeting today at four o'clock to discuss impeachment which um, it, there's no there's no bounds for it and and um, uh, you know, they're going to come up with some kind of plan to impeach Trump. And they have, they have the votes in the House. They have, they have the majority in the House um, to start impeachment process on him. Uh, it'll get to the Senate and it'll, it'll get voted down, just like it did when Bill Clinton was president. The House voted to impeach him. They impeached him. The Senate said, nope, negative, we're not going to convict him. And that's exactly... You know, if it if it goes that far, that's exactly what's going to happen this time. So, these Democrats have their panties in a bunch yet again over nothing, over absolutely nothing. But when their party does it, and it and admits it on video last January, um, it's okay. You know, but but if we bring that up as conservatives and Republicans, then where you know, oh, how dare you say anything negative against Joe Biden? He's just a, a sweet old man. No, the guy's a freaking raving lunatic with a uh, a mouth on him that he does not know how to control. So think about that today. I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get going. I got a I got a bunch of work emails to get done today and try to figure out why my my cars are not working. Yes, my my uh, my favorite Saab decided that I was gonna have an idler pulley issue that I have to repair. And my company car decided I was going to crap the bed yet again. So it's been a great, it's been a great uh, four days, so, car-wise. Anyways, have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Do me a favor, hit that uh, bell icon. And if you're not a subscriber already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. And always remember to stay on the right side. Talk to you guys soon.